Hello, BookTube friends. My name is Linda, known as Book Lady on BookTube, and today I'm going to be doing a tag about tags, and it was created by the lovely Rose at Skelly Dandling about the books. I first saw it on Freddie's channel. I'm reading from a notebook. So if I look down, it's because I'm reading from my notebook. So the first question is, one, tag firsts. Did you do the BookTube newbie tag? If not, what was your first tag? Yes, I did the BookTube newbie tag. It was not my first video because I was doing some videos in 2014. At first, I wanted to do books because I love books, but then I found out that it was really easier for me to talk elsewhere than, you know, like I was riding my bike, taking a walk, doing a video at the same time, and I found that easier for me. Then I didn't actually become a booktuber until I think it was 2017, and that's when I did the booktube newbie tag. Second question, tag emotions. What feelings do tags provoke in you? Like tag joy and delight, boredom and resentment, guilt or anxiety, or even tag envy. You know, I don't really think I feel any of those emotions. I feel curiosity at tags. Back in the day, okay, this was many long years ago, I was a pen paler. I had dozens of pen pals that I wrote letters to. When was this? Oh, maybe back in the 1980s, before the internet happened. And so I had lots and lots of pen pals. It was a real thing back then. And we used to exchange these little booklets with each other. Some of them were called friendship booklets, where you just put your name and address, and then they get passed from one pen pal to another, and you meet new friends that way. And then another kind of book that we had that was really very... Um, similar and they were all homemade we would just write them on paper and staple them together and maybe put a few stickers or pictures on there from magazines or who knows what we would decorate them and then we would put questions in there and they were called slams I don't know why they were called slams but I really liked slams and tags remind me of slams so they give me like a warm fuzzy feeling of something that I really enjoyed earlier in my life Question number three, tag favorites. What kind of tags do you like most and least to do and to watch? My favorites are the ones that actually go off the topic of books because I really like to get to know booktubers as people and tags tend to help us talk about other aspects of our lives besides just the books that we're reading. As for tags I like least, I really can't think of any. Maybe just something that is so scholarly I feel it goes over my head so I can't participate. Question number four, tag style. How do you tag? Do you have a system for keeping track of tags when you are tagged or tags you plan to do? Yes, I have a system. I like to tag people who are newbies. Mainly because I remember being a newbie and I really wanted to participate in the tags but nobody was tagging me, and even to this day, it seems like nobody tags me, or if they do tag me, they don't tell me that I've been tagged, so I don't know. And as for preparing for tags and having a system, yes, I have been keeping my tag information in a notebook, what is it called, OneNote on uh, Microsoft Office, so that's mainly where I keep my tag information, but just recently I've started using a notebook with my tags written down in them because I like to think over the questions and write the answers down uh, in longhand. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Question number five, tag memories. Of all the tags you have watched, done, or created, which have stuck in your memory? Are there any you would like to revisit or revise? And the ones that stuck in my memory I don't know. There were so many tags that were very special to me at the time because of the people who created them. And it's hard to just name one or two. 
question number six is and tag people of course I enjoyed making this tag video and just remember a tag is a tag is a tag it's not a complete tag until you tag somebody <laughs>